Family, just because you went through those situations or people tried to label you the way that they have doesn't mean it is who you are, okay? You are not defined by your circumstances and those thoughts are not yours. I have a great motivational message for you guys today, but you already know the deal. First, hit it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin Brown, also known as Expressed Words with a Z, and welcome back to Speak It, See It, Feel It, where you can speak your life into existence, you can see it becoming a reality, and you can feel as if it is already done, guys. It is already yours. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to another video. I hope everybody's having a wonderful start to your week. I hope you guys had a great weekend as well. Remember to keep on keeping on, guys. Keep moving that needle forward no matter where you are right now along your journey, guys, all right? Now, listen, we're gonna go ahead and get right down to today's message. Many of you guys might be walking around, man, depressed, anxious, sad, just feeling like nobody cares about you, feeling like that your life has no meaning, okay? And I want you guys to start observing your thoughts as the witness. All right. And stop thinking that the thoughts are you. All right. Remember, you are not defined by your circumstances. Many of you guys have been through trauma, pain, near death experiences. You lost people. You went through a lot of dark and eerie times in your lives. But because you went through those things, you've probably created this story in your head that's making you think, well, because I went through this, this is my life. This is who I am. When in reality, family, that is not the case at all. Remember, you guys are gonna go through things because it's a test. Remember, life is just a test, right? You are being tested along this journey. You're being tested how you're gonna handle situations, right? Remember, you have to graduate from the current level in order to get to the next one. So every event, every circumstance, everything that you guys are dealing with is a test. And there's gonna be people that comes along your path that's gonna label you simply because of those circumstances that you have gone through. And this is where it gets interesting and this is where your life can get hard. Our mind is a battlefield family. You know the enemy loves to get up here to still kill and destroy. If you allow the enemy to get upstairs and to control your mind, all right, you could be a lost cause. You can have friends, you can have family, you can have colleagues, coworkers, your own kids, complete strangers say one thing to you, which can discourage you from your dreams and completely throw you off course, all right? You have to stay focused right now. The people that come along your journey, all right, especially during this time of your spiritual awakening, remember people are meant to be sent to you, whether if they're good or bad. Sometimes God will allow the enemy to mess with you to see how much you have faith in him. You are not defined by your circumstances. You are not defined by the words that these people have placed over your life. Do not accept them and stop accepting them, all right? Matter of fact, write it down in the comment section below and let me know if you have been a victim of this. Because once you are honest with yourselves and you are aware that there is an issue there, then you can pinpoint the issue and you can start to create a solution for it, guys, okay? If you are running around and always just sulking in sadness, living in depression, always anxious about what's going to happen in the future or the past, all right, you're not allowing yourself to actually live your best life. Remember, it is extremely imperative that you live in the present moment, all right? Don't be thinking so much in the past and don't be thinking too far into the future. Live in the present moment. Now, what exactly do I mean by that? When you guys are doing something that you love to do, let's just say you're going outside to take a walk. Take in every single sense, every single experience that you can experience while you're out there on your walk. The way that your legs are moving, the way that it feels, the way that your blood is circulating, the breeze as it's flowing through your hair, all right? What you're seeing, take every single ounce of that moment and live in the present moment, all right? This is going to help you guys move forward in life and stop allowing for past traumas, past pains, past words that people have placed on you to keep you stuck and to keep you there, all right? When you can appreciate and be grateful for the present moment right now, how you're currently living right now, just how grateful you are, and you have a very, very strong purpose in this lifetime, all right? So of course the enemy is going to mess with you. Of course the enemy is gonna send people to attack you, to steer you off course, to get you off this narrow, narrow path so you are not fulfilling God's purpose for your life. When people are jealous and envious of you and they see that you have an extremely 
bright light within you and that you're actually doing something with your life, all right? They're gonna place words over whatever it is that you're doing and tell you that you're not capable, all right? And it can get stuck up here. And this is where I do not want you to get defined by labels, do not get defined by your circumstances and things that you guys have gone through. And this can be a huge, issue in life. Now, what exactly can we do or practice so that we can move our needle forward so we're not feeling stuck or like the circumstances or the labels that people have placed over us are actually defining who we are? Remember, that is not you chosen ones. Those thoughts are not yours. People are trying to hijack your mind. What you need to do is you need to practice self-acceptance. All right, guys, you're going to go through ups and downs. All right, you're going to go through trauma. You're going to go through pain. You're going to go through setbacks, roadblocks. You're going to go through so many different trials in your life. You need to to accept that whatever you're going through, number one, you're going to grow through it. And number two, it's not you. All right. It is meant to shape you. It is meant to mold you. It is meant to help you move forward in life so that you can graduate from the lesson. So accept the things that are happening to you. All right. Yes, of course, you're not going to accept it at first. It's going to bother you. You might complain about it, but you are a work in progress, chosen ones. Remember that. All right. And that leads me right into the next thing that you guys need to do. Practice self-compassion. All right. Stop being so hard on yourself. Stop beating yourselves up because you are a work in progress. You guys are not perfect. You're going to make mistakes. All right. And once you can understand that you will make mistakes and you can accept that, then you can learn from the mistakes. You can pull back. And like I said in the beginning of the video, start to become a witness of your thoughts because you are not the thought itself. All right. You are now going to transcend the mind and you'll be able to look at it from a different perspective. All right. Guys, this is powerful and this is extremely major for you guys. In doing so, you are raising your level of awareness and you are detaching yourself from the egotistical mind, all right? And now you are bringing yourself to the present moment, guys, all right? You're not thinking about the circumstance. You're not thinking about what people called you. You're not thinking about the labels that people have placed over your life. You are in the present moment and you now understand that all of the outside judgment, all of the outside chatter, the distractions, anything that people's trying to prophesy over your life is just there to stop you. It is there to halt you. It is meant to keep you down. And that is why it is also very important that you practice self-care, guys, all right? Take care of yourself, take care of you. Set those boundaries. Many of you guys are willing and always going to be doing things for other people before you even take care of yourselves, all right? When you set those boundaries and when you can take care of yourself, going outside to get exercise, drinking plenty of water, doing the activities that bring you joy and peace, anything like that, it's going to keep you in the present moment because you're doing things that you love to do, you're taking care of your mind, body, and spirit, and you're not allowing for things of your past or things that you're thinking about or potentially could be thinking about in the future to come and haunt you. The present moment is going to bring you clarity. It's gonna bring you guidance. It's gonna bring you to a place of enlightenment and to a place of peace. You see, a lot of people, man, they don't like their own lives. They're not happy with their own lives. So they wanna do everything to ruin yours because they don't want you to become successful just like them. They see that you have something special about your life. They see that you are moving forward with your life, that you have a bright light about your life. It doesn't matter how good you do or how much you try to help people, they still do not like you. And that is why you guys need to practice forgiveness, all right? Now, this is a hard one for a lot of people because people have done some really messed up things to you guys, all right? They have really, really tried to break your spirit, break your heart, break your bones, right? Whatever it may be, it could be extremely hard to forgive someone that has really tried to harm you, hurt you, rob you, steal, kill, and destroy you. All right, guys? But this is where the power really, really lies, guys, all right? Because when you can ignore or when you can just no longer give attention to the things, the circumstances, the labels that people have set over your life or that have placed over your life, you're going to regain your power back. You're not gonna allow for them to have a stronghold over you. A lot of people think you won't walk away from them. A lot of people think that you will not be able to move forward in life because they think that they have some type of power over you. And family, I'm here to tell you right now, break that chain, break that stronghold. You're not defined by the circumstances. You're not defined by the issues dealing with these people. You're not defined by whatever it is that they put you through. That is not you. The thoughts that they're trying to place in your head, that is not you. The enemy enemy is out to still kill and destroy. We are in spiritual warfare. You are becoming your greatest version. You're marching in the direction where God is calling you to.
to go, all right? So don't you think that whatever you dealt with a few years ago, because many of you guys have been through a lot of trauma over the last three, four, five years, do you really think that happened for no reason? Remember, there is no such thing as a coincidence. Everything happens for a reason. And many of you guys have gone through so much pain, so much trauma, so many experiences, and so much downfall dealing with people, dealing with a job, dealing with a relationship, dealing with financial struggles. It doesn't matter what it is, but the spiritual warfare is so real that the enemy wants you to think that you are defined by every single thing that you have went through, that that is who you are, that is your life, and that you are a nobody. And family, Coach Kev is here to tell you that is just the enemy trying to get in your head, all right, guys? So listen, I don't know who needed to hear this message today, man, but I hope it resonated with you. If it did, you already know the deal. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right here. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Have a great week ahead. If you need a life coach or if you need somebody to talk to, come on over to the website. It's gonna pop up on your screen, www.speakitseeitfeelit.com. I would love to have a conversation with you, family, all right, man? You guys are truly appreciated. You guys are loved. Keep on keeping on, guys, all right? No matter what you're dealing with right now in your life, Quitting is not an option, all right? Remember, you're going to fail. It is necessary in order for you to succeed, all right? So whatever circumstances you dealt with and you failed, that doesn't mean it's who you are. You are not a failure, all right? You need to fail in order to succeed, all right, guys? So I love you guys to life. Happy Tuesday. Don't forget to turn on your bell notifications for more videos to come. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.